What is up everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you a base tour in Kenshi. Now Kenshi is an early access game and surprisingly enough it was really entertaining and really fun and I'm still playing it and I will probably still play it for the next couple of weeks. It's a really great game despite being an early access because according to my experience early access games are just not worth it. I have had my experience with like two or three early access games but Kenshi proved me wrong. It's a really great and nice game. So I'm going to start my tour uh, by clicking on my pet goat skipper. He's supposed to be over here. And he's going to guide you guys through the whole base tour thing. Look at him. Yeah, I didn't really shave him, but that's all the fur he has. <laughs> anyway, uh, the first building is the farmer's headquarters. Uh, all of these things on top are just really decorative things. Well, except these medical workshops. I use them to craft med kits and skeleton repair kits and all that kind of stuff. I designed all of this, so I guess I'm going to have to major in fucking interior design in college. <laughs> so this is on roof. The batteries are just for decorations as well as the water tanks. So yeah, moving on to the first level. This is like the place where they sleep. I got like six farmers, I think. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, ten, including Skipper. So this is where they sleep. This is the cooking oven, the bread oven, and the cooking stove. This is like a general storage area for grog. Oh no, it's sake. I just put them for like beautification because I have like already three or four barrels for grog. I really rely a lot on grog. And I'm going to show you in my bison storage. As you can see, there's a shitload of grog and I have like 880k cats. All of this is from grog. At first I was relying on bread. But then I realized grog turns out a lot more profit, so I switched to grog. And as you can see, the bison, or the bull, I call them Appa. And that's because there's a bison in Avatar The Last Airbender. It's like a cartoon show. I watched it like five years ago. So I kind of like, <laughs> I kind of named him after him. I don't know. I think that's dope. Anyway, this is the first building, the farmer's headquarters. And as you can see, I'm relying on hemp and on wheat in general in terms of farming and my base is locating in located in the holy nation because like I said I wanted my economy to be based on farming so I built it in the holy nation's uh, river area and if you want to build your own base I recommend uh, this spot it's a really good one this circle and also I think somewhere here oh yeah this is also a good spot definitely here so yeah uh, speaking about the Holy Nation, I have one skeleton guard, which I found him over here in Burns Tower. And ironic ironically enough, his name is Burn too. So this guy has been causing me some trouble because the Holy Nation apparently hates non-humans. So they instantly attack him if they see him. And that has, you know, caused me to reload the game because the paladins are OP as fuck. Just, you know, <laughs> just picking up my mind. So anyway, this is the first building. Uh, this mini house is like empty so far. I left it. Maybe, you know, I want to do something with it later. I don't know. So this second one is the guard station. I currently have 12 guards. 11 of them belong to the Shek and one of them is a skeleton. And I really advise you to uh, get Sheks as guards or like military personnel because they have bonus in attack and strength and all that. And if you want to get farmers, uh, I advise you to get... Um, what are they called? Worker drones. Ant worker drones. They're really good in farming. Even better than humans. So yeah, I advise you to get those uh, ant workers. So yeah, this is the second building. This is the sleeping quarters. This is for uh, general beautification things. Also here. Uh, I got the weapon cabinets and all that. Oh, and this is like a general storage area for excess goods. And so far I've been filling them up with fabric because I produce a shit ton of fabric and I don't know what to do with it. And it's just, it doesn't really, it isn't really worth it to sell it because it like only 63 cats, you know, not too much. Unlike Grog, which is like 1k per bottle, I think. So yeah, this was the first level, the first floor. On the rooftop you got um, these dummies, training dummies, uh, the combat training dummies, the assassin training dummies, turret training things and the locksmith boxes training. The rest is just decorative things. So yeah, this is the guard station. This area is like generally like uh, mining iron, blacksmith area. 
Hand is a really great blacksmith. He produces, uh, I kept training him on producing armor and weapons, and he's producing edge one type weapons, which is really great. As you can see, and also high grade uh, armor, most of it anyway. So yeah, this is the general mining area and the blacksmith area. So come on, Skipper, let's go to the last building, which is the miners and smiths headquarters. So generally, I had to like repeat the whole uh, decorations because there isn't much building options. So I, I even had to put some storage buildings to make the base look good. So on the first floor, as you can see, I got the weapon storage area, armor storage area. Most of it is all high quality, so... Yeah, like I said previously. Here I got the leather tanning bench, the cloth bench, the leather armor bench. You know, this is where they sit, blah, blah, blah. And this is the third building. Um, this, this, the story of this building is kind of funny because um, I discovered hashish, which is basically like a drug. But I figured out I can't really sell it because of a bug or something. Because there are these guys called shinobi thieves in the bars across cities. And whenever I go and try to sell it to them, they just give me uh, an error saying smuggling attempt. Even though I tried to join them, the shinobi thieves, so I thought to myself, maybe if I join them, I can sell them the hashish because it's really profitable, especially in cities that forbid it. But it turns out I can't really sell it to them for some reason. So as you can see, I was really serious about my drug production line. I was planning to be the most notorious cartel <laughs> in all of the land. But unfortunately, that plan failed. And on the top, I got like a uh, robotics bench and a chain armor, you know, the rest just production areas. On the rooftop here, I got two skeleton benches, mainly for, what's his name, Burn? Yeah, to fix up Burn, because I tend to get into fights a lot, especially with the bandits. And speaking of bandits, this is like my prison cell area. As you can see, I have like 10 bandits and half of them die. So those who die, I end up burning them here. So yeah, I'm a really horrible human being. <laughs> and this corner is just dedicated to the power mainly. And yeah, this is where I produce my bread and grog. As you can see, the storage is already full. So yeah, guys, this is all in general. I want to show you how the base looks at night because I really worked my ass off on the whole lightning design. I got light posts everywhere, so I want you to see the base at night. It, it looks really, really dope at night. So yeah guys, this was it for today's video. You're about to check out the base at night. Hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thank you for watching.